Today we are going to be tying a pink and green clouser minnow. The hook that is in the vise is this Mustad size 2 stinger hook. The way I have it placed in the vise is that the vise is right on the end of the hook shank. I'm going to start my thread right about there and work my way backwards. And then stop there and I'm going to cut off my tag end. Next, I'm going to take some pink bucktail. I'm going to take a little bit of it and then cut it off. And then just go through it and find all the loose hairs and throw them in your trash. So now our bunch of hair is pretty clean. There's a few long ones we can pull them out. And then we're going to place it on top of the hook and the hook, the sharp part of the hook should uh, basically split the bunch of hair in half. And then we're not gonna make it too far backwards, just about this far so the end of the hair is just about three or four inches off of the end of the hook. And then we're gonna make a couple of loose wraps first and then we're gonna tighten it down. I'm now going to place a couple of wraps behind the hair so it stands up a little bit. Just like that. And then I'm going to take all of this hair and cut it off right close to my first wraps. Just like that. And then we can wrap it tighter down on the hook shank. So now we have the bundle of hair pretty tight down onto our hook shank. We can give it a couple more wraps just to make sure it's really tight. Um, now we're going to take this some of this sparkly string stuff and the, the color I'm using is green but you can um, choose what color you want and make your bigger colors. I'm just gonna pull a little bit out like that. That's a, that's a good amount there. Looks like I have about 30 of those little strings. And this stuff is really, there's a lot of loose stuff in there and we're just gonna pull a little bit of that out. Not too much or else it'll basically all fall apart. And then we're just gonna lay it down on there. And that one end of it, you can split it about in half. And one end of it should hang off the front of the hook. Put it down on there and wrap it down. Make sure that the front end does not get caught in your wraps. Just like that. Put about four wraps on there. And I'm going to take this back and lay it down on top of the pink hair. And then I'm going to wrap over that so it stays down. And then you can wrap around the head just to build up a little body or head, whatever you want to call it. Right here I have a lot of long stuff and most of that you can just pull out. But some of it you see I can't. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut some of that. You don't want to cut it just straight across because then the end of the fly will be flat. Make a few different cuts along it so it's all different, all of the stringy stuff is different lengths. And make sure the green is centered on your hook just like the pink hair is. And then I'm just gonna cut off some of these loose hairs or flyaways as girls call them. I have these heads for Clouser minnows. They're pearl colored and they're size 7 30 seconds. And you can take one of them out. 
we're actually going to put this on the underside of the fly because when the fly is in the water you want it to you actually want the hook the sharp part of the hook to be up above the shank and then we're going to this is kind of tricky doing it like this you might want to flip your fly around so it's like most flies that you tie but then you just kind of figure eight the eye the set of eyes onto there and just get them so they're pretty tight it doesn't have to be super tight just so that they won't fall off and then I'm going to put a couple wraps in front of it just to build up more of a head and then I'm going to finish with a whip finish I'm going to wrap it around three times and then I'm going to wrap it around three times again double whip finish it now you can cut your thread off and we are going to put some super glue on to the head of the fly so the wraps don't come undone just a little bit is fine. A little bit goes a long way. And there we have it. That is my version of the Clouser Minnow. Please like and subscribe to our channel.